On your iPad, go ahead and scroll over to the Snapseed app. It's got a little leaf. Mine is going to open up an old project I just completed for my AP Art History students. And you can access a photo. From here, you can access images from your camera roll or import them from another document. Here I've got two other statuettes that were completed by students in that class. The great thing about this app, once you click in, you can see I can crop the photo down like we're going to need to, and it gives you the rule of thirds right there. So you can make sure that you're actually composing your image properly. You can alter the perspective. If you're looking from aerial or from bug's eye view. There's so many options that you can click on there at the bottom where you can alter the saturation, increase black or white. Uh, you can focus on certain areas of your artwork and just change the lighting in those areas. This is a time for you to explore with Snapseed, look at tutorials on YouTube as well, and remember the project requirements that in fact we're going to have to have this eventually in black and white. Doesn't matter if you want to add a little border or change the effects on the picture, but um, Noir is one that's really, really uh, concentrated and that could be a good filter to play around with as well. Um, Snapseed also as you go through and you're changing all the things about your photo, remember uh, that your main focus is making sure that we can actually see, you know, your letter in the first place. All right, so make sure that it's not becoming obscured. Like here, I can't see that left hand image at all. So that would not be ideal. When you do get to a point where you feel like you're finished, export your document and save it to your camera roll. These documents will be uploaded to Canvas at our next class and everyone will have access to them to then print in the next stage.